It was literally one of the most breathtaking spots I'd ever been to. It felt like the hills stretched into eternity before me. This was the valley of a thousand hills. I felt both dwarfed and elated. What an amazing country we have. But maybe I should take you back to how I got here. The beginning. And like many adventures, this one began at the airport. I was in Durban to go meet Bevlin Sudhu at his company called Repurpose. I'd heard that he was making waves as a waste entrepreneur. I wanted to know what kind of business models were driving the recycling economy. And honestly, my understanding of a circular economy was still muddy. I was hoping he could clear things up. So obviously I can't ignore this mountain of bottles behind us. How long would it take to process all of this? Um, so this is only two days worth of stock. We, we currently process more than 10 tons every single day of plastic bottles. And how many people do you have on your team? At the moment, we've got 25 people in our team. And we've got hundreds of collectors out there. Yeah. yeah. How and why did you start a journey in recycling? I uh, was doing a run one morning. I noticed a whole lot of plastic bottles on the side of the street. And then I realized this is a problem. And I tried to use my entrepreneurship skills and decided to commercialize this problem. And that's how Repurpose was born. We offer circular economy solutions. So to give you an example, um, the value chain, we have a collector in a community, a waste reclaimer that we work with and we empower. They bring through the recyclables to us. We do the quality control, the separation, uh, the compacting, and then we supply it onto the producer, such as ExtraPet, who then turns it into a raw material. And then we then work with the manufacturer to ensure that a new bottle is produced uh, and then put back onto the shelves of various co corporate and retailers. Bevlin's definition of the circular economy finally made it clear for me. All these people working together, all parts of a bigger picture. But I was struck again by the enormity of the challenge. How can everyone participate in their own way? It was a lot to take in. I needed to catch my breath, to remind myself what it was all about after all. And that is how I found myself standing on top of the world, looking at the environment we're fighting for and reminding myself about how much more there was to do. 